Hey guys, welcome back to Vroom Vroom F1. Today I'm going to be beginning my brand new career mode as a motorsport manager in the game Motorsport Manager. I'm going to be taking the Williams F1 team from the bottom of the ranks all the way back up to the top. Now, as you may know, this game isn't fully licensed with F1, so I had to use some mods to get the, uh, the likenesses I wanted, but right now, I have a decent setup with Williams. They've got the correct livery, correct drivers, all the correct team information, so pretty happy with uh, what I've been able to create. So obviously we're going to be going through the what should have been the 2020 season, which is 22 races with all the drivers, but now it's looking like it might be, let's say, 11 races with mm, many fewer drivers just because of how things have been. So. Williams have looked a lot nicer in preseason testing than people thought they would be, so I'm actually kind of excited going forward. I hope it's not going to be absolute pain and torture. So without further ado, let's get into the game. So here we go. I am not an expert at this game, but I did play the mobile version, so I know how everything is supposed to work. So let's look through the mail. Hi Noah, that's my name, just FYI. Welcome to Williams Racing. We're all delighted that you've chosen to start your ma managerial career with us here. Hopefully there are some great times ahead of us. I'm Patrick, and I'll keep you up to date with everything going on around the team. That should be all for now. Good luck. This is Nicholas Latifi. So excited to be working with you. I grew up watching you racing. This is going to be great. I just know it. I get on really well with George Russell, so I hope you're going to keep us all feeling like one big happy family. And that is actually true, because Nicholas Latifi and George Russell raced together in Formula 2 in 2018. So, I know that's not an intentional detail, but still, it all works out, which is impressive. George Russell says, Man, I used to watch you on TV when I was little. Can't wait to start working with you. Nicholas Latifi and I get on okay, but I'm going to be working my socks off to prove to you that I'm a much better driver. Sounds just about right for George. Um, Nick Chester, the head of design, says, Welcome from myself and all the guys in the design facility. You were one hell of a driver back in the day. If you're anywhere near that good as a boss, then we're in for a good season. And here is Frank Williams. It's the start of the new season, so we need to clarify just how well you think you, the team is going to do this season, which sets the payment amount that I give you after every race. I think we have the chance of achieving something decent this season. I predict we will come in ninth in the team's championship in this season, but where do you think we'll finish? I'm just going to go with ninth because for Williams, that is a very ambitious target to set. They were tenth by a lot the past two seasons, so if they can make it up to ninth, that's a big deal. So the thing with this game is you have to hire Pitker. Williams have a very good one, so I'm not too worried um, about our pit stops going badly. Although I might want to pick up some uh, extra tire fixer people. This guy's got a 19 in tires, so I think I'm going to hire him. He's also got a lot of stamina, which I think means that he can go for many races. I'm just going to put him in here because he's got more stamina than that guy. How are the fixing folks looking? So yeah, pretty much everyone in the pit crew is perfect. I'm going to pick up this guy just because he has more stamina than the other guy who's assigned to be uh, one of the part fixers. Where is he? So, yep. And this is the pit crew. Yeah, we've got the best pit crew on the grid. We should do it in about 1.7 seconds. Now for sponsors. Of course, we've got Rocket, but now we can either get Peak or Bell and Bell. I know Peak sponsored Haas last season, I don't know where they are now. I think we're going to take the offer from them, just because they've got a more moderate estimate for where we're going to finish. And we can either take BNI, Malaburner, or IPB. Now, hmm, I think I'm going to go with BNI just because they have the most upfront payment. I don't think we're going to be finishing ninth or above at any time, because that would be a great improvement. So I'm just going to take the money up front, and then if we do have the pace to be going in the top 10, then that would be obviously very good. Now for other sponsors, GP Extreme offering us 8 million, or Gold Car with 3,500, 30, 350,000, wow, I cannot read, over 9 races. Which one gives us more money? Gold Car, I believe, because 350,000 times 9 is more than 8 million. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I think we're good with sponsors and everything. So, let's look at the car. So the car needs work. Our engine is below average, top speed, that's what that means. We have a good gearbox though, good acceleration. Deceleration, we have the worst brakes, I know that makes sense because there were several brake failures for Williams last year. For low speed corners, medium speed corners, and high speed corners, we are safely at the back, so I'm going to get to work on designing some new parts. I think we're going to need a better engine, I'm going to go with some extra top speed with that. Let's get that underway. 
also we're going to be building a new engine. I think it's the only one we can do, but that should get us from 7th up towards the middle. Um, is there anything I can improve? Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, we desperately need to improve the brakes, so I'm just going to give performance over to those guys and get it as close to before the race as I can. So they can finish these two three hours before the race, which means I can do a lot of work for reliability. And I think I'm going to do a reliability upgrade on this suspension piece and this gearbox, just because they're in the 60s. So I think this is good for now. We're going to be getting much better brakes, and then after the race, we're going to have a lot better reliability across the board. Now for our headquarters. What do we have? So we've got a lot of good stuff, it looks like. Sorry about the low frame rates, just my recording software is not... It slows my computer down, uh, I will say that. But I think we should upgrade our test track so we can get a better engine, because better engine means better car, obviously. I think we're good. I'm just going to skip ahead a bit. Alright, we got an interview, it looks like. And some new mail. Fan reaction to Connolly's appointment mixed. Wow, thanks fans. I'm glad that everyone is behind me. The news that Noah Connolly has taken the reins at Williams Racing has reverberated around the paddock, and fans' reaction to the appointment has been mixed. That's great. Alright, we've got an interview with Soy Motor. Well, you've certainly picked a tough task for your first job. Are you expecting to pick up many points at all this season? Um, I'm quietly confident that we'll manage a few decent finishes, but I'm making no promises. Nicholas Latifi is seen by the fans as your top driver. Do you agree with that, or would you say George Russell is better? Ooh, okay. So George Russell is obviously the better driver, but I don't know if I want to say that out loud, because that could be hurtful. So I'm just going to say I'm lucky enough to have inherited two great drivers, and I can't wait to see them race. Don't want to hurt anyone's feelings before the first race of the season. In the Soy Motor Season Preview, I wrote that you're expected to finish 9th in the team's championship. Is that accurate, or do you think you can do any better? I'm going to say the prediction seems fair, but I'm hoping that we're going to surprise you. We all remember your first time as a fan favorite racer a few years back, but will you be able to transfer your skills to the management game? In racing, the pressure comes to 200 miles an hour. This should be a kickwalk. I'm gonna go with that one, actually. So that brings some rep to the team. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Moving on. Okay, I think I'm gonna give the better engine to George, just because he is the better driver. Um, although the reliability is scary. So, yep. So engine reliability is going to be completed 19 days after the race, which might be an issue for this, obviously, because it's at 40% reliability. Alright, and looks like we're traveling off to Sydney. So that was the preseason. We've got um, a good bit of work done around the uh, factory and with our car and everything. And uh, we will begin the race in the next episode. So thank you everyone so much for watching. There's a lot more to come. A lot more excitement with our Vroom Vroom Fast Cars. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever. And I will see you in the next video.